Happy Thursday, all my fellow brothers and sisters and doll. It's me, your buddy Donnie, bringing you another dolly review, and as always, telling it like a T.I. is. It is with great pleasure that today I bring you a very special little lady, one of my favorites from the Superstar era, and uh, of course I'm talking about um, Miss Oriental Barbie. Okay, uh, Oriental Barbie, okay, uh, is from 1980. Okay, her box states it right here. Okay, um, this doll, what is there not to love about her? I mean, look at that face. She's so pretty. She's so, so pretty. Okay, and friendly, you know, unlike a lot of today's dolls that whose facial expressions you know, look like they're about to stab you or something. I don't know why. Oh, yes, here I go again on my rant on how a lot, not all, but a lot of today's dolls, you know, have these really mean looks on their faces. You know, why? Why are toy companies making dolls that look like could give the children nightmares? You know, this doll, okay, I, I, I don't believe would give anybody nightmares because again, you know, she's just pretty. She's pretty. She has a very uh, subtle smile to her face. And I appreciate that. I really do. This is one of my favorite, you know, head molds, you know, um, of all time, not just from the superstar era. And uh, it's not just me, but this really is a matter of fact because this head mold, since it debuted on 1980, has been issued on many, many dolls throughout the years, okay? This head mold, again, debuted as Oriental Barbie, okay? Um, she didn't really have a proper name yet, okay? She was just Barbie, Oriental Barbie, okay? Now, my apologies to my dolly friends who happen to be of Asian extraction, because I, I know that the term Oriental is no longer politically correct to be used for describing people. Um, I understand that the term Oriental for people has become, like I said, politically incorrect and passe, because the term is preferred most to use for as a noun for objects or people, okay? Um, now, this happens to be an object, okay? But an object that, well, depicts a human being, a human being of Asian extraction. So I'm merely referring to her as Oriental Barbie out of accuracy, and I certainly mean no disrespect, okay? So let, let me go on. Uh, Oriental Barbie, okay, um, says hello, okay? Meet Barbie from Hong Kong and learn about the Orient, okay? Um, this dolly, again, is super, super pretty, okay? Absolutely adorable. I don't particularly collect much of the dolls of the world because, well, you know, they don't really put much to my horn, you know? But I have a few in my collection. I have a few, a few of um, dolls of the world. Like I said, this little lady debuted in 1980, and this head mold um, wasn't given a proper name um, other than Barbie, okay, until 1985, when she was reintroduced, okay, as two separate characters, okay, tropical as Tropical Miko, okay, um, which um, I shall review in another video, okay, and as Dana Rockers, okay. Now, this head mold, you know, is one of those uh, multi-purpose head molds that Mattel has really gotten uh, their money's worth out of. Because, again, this head mold has been used for many dolls throughout the years to this day. And uh, she, this head mold has been used uh, to depict not only um, people of Asian extraction, okay, but she has also been used okay, to depict other ethnicities, such as the indigenous population of Peru, where I happen to be from, okay? This head mold has also been used as black, okay, um, 
depicting, again, uh, girls of mixed heritage, where maybe the father is black and the mother is Korean or vice versa, you know. Uh, again, Mattel has really gotten their money's worth out of this head mold because, again, they, they've used it to this day, to this day. And I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad they used it because, again, she is so pretty. Uh, this uh, little lady, okay, uh, has also had other names throughout the years. Um, in 1985, like I said, you know, she was given Miko and uh, Dana, okay, and later throughout the years, in the 90s, um, she was rechristened as Nikki, okay, uh, Kira, okay, and uh, again, she's had, you know, several other other names that she's gone by as different characters, but again, the head mold, you know, prevails. Now, on to the unboxing, okay, here I'm camping it up, why I gotta sing, why I gotta sing, you know? The unboxing. There I go. <laughs> you know, dear doll community, let's have a sense of humor, shall we? Uh, don't take ourselves too seriously, especially in these videos because that we're reviewing dolls. Okay, dolls of all things. We're reviewing dolls. You know, which is you know campy already. Anyways, um, this doll. Um, like I said, she's very uh, representative of the superstar era with her triangle-shaped box, okay? And um, this is one of the last dolls that features this gorgeous type of artwork style. Come on. I mean, this is the superstar era artwork that really helped sell the dolls. I mean, come on. This, this 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 artwork is mesmerizingly beautiful. Okay, let me you know do a sweeping shot here. Oriental Barbie. Okay, again she's very representative of the of the superstar era. Okay, uh, as you can see here, um, her outfit it's one piece uh, dress. You know solid yellow with um, uh, orange uh, trim and a red and gold um, printed jacket. And also she has gold trim around the jacket. She sports the quintessential superstar era jewelry, her diamond earrings, okay? And of course, matching rings. Okay, um, she also brings a clear brown based doll stand with a, a single leg holder. Okay, and she brings also this adorable little fan. It's a, it's a cardboard fan. Okay, um, with a with a gold handle. Okay, and that's all she wrote. You know, um, she doesn't bring anything else. Uh, she doesn't uh, bring a brush or a comb or any other hair accessories, okay? Um, and I'm pretty sure of that. Now, um, it is possible that considering... See, this is about the only downside of the Superstar era dolls is that, as you could see, the boxes are very easily accessible, okay? Okay. Um, so a lot of collectors have seen throughout the years um, something that, of course, nobody appreciates, which is doll tampering, okay? Now, doll tampering is where the, mu uh, where the water gets really murky because, again, um, you know, being that these boxes were so easily accessible to be open, um, yeah, anybody could yank out their accessories, you know, or jewelry, Okay. Uh, oh, also, let me point out, uh, she wears the um, standard Superstar era squishy, strappy, uh, high heel shoes, okay? And uh, which uh, I noticed that on the illustration of the doll, she's not wearing these shoes, but instead, in the illustration, she's wearing um, open toe mules, 
still red, but they're open toe mules, okay? Perhaps the prototype wore the open toe mules and was given to the uh, artist, okay, who did this beautiful illustration. Um, again, um, I um, thank you all very, very much for stopping by, okay, and uh, watching my Dolly, Dolly videos, okay? I, I believe I have taken enough of your time, and I wish you a beautiful Thursday. Thank you all so much for stopping by. Bye-bye for now.